everyone, my name is Kendra and today we have a beginner friendly yoga class. We will work with certain standing postures today, building our foundation and finding what feels right for us. Your yoga practice is exactly that, it is yours. So let's find what feels right for you. Whenever you're ready, we'll get started. Alright, so come closer to the top of your mat and allow the feet to be hip width apart. Arms lengthening down towards your torso. Look down at your feet and begin to ground the feet onto the mat. So press into the big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and fifth toe. Really feeling the toes on the mat. And then also feeling the heels grounding on the mat. You can take the gaze to look back up if you're not already looking back up. A slight bend in the knees, softening the kneecaps. And place the hands onto the hips and feel the hip bones, feel the pelvis. And notice if your hips feel level in this standing position. Place your right hand on your belly and your left hand on your low back. Feel and notice what the back feels like, the low back. Maybe you have a big curve in the low back or maybe it feels flat. And notice the natural and subtle rising and falling of the belly. We're simply noticing here. Nothing to change. There's no right or wrong answer. We're simply feeling our own bodies. Place the right hand onto the chest, release the left arm down. Focusing your attention on your breath, noticing the feeling of your breath. Where do you feel yourself inhaling and exhaling? And if you can, ideally inhaling and exhaling through the nose. If that feels restricting at all, please feel free to breathe in and out through the mouth. Release the right hand down. Both arms now lengthening down towards your torso. Turn the palms to face forward. Soften the shoulders. Let go of any holding in the neck. Crown of the head lengthening up towards the ceiling. Keep grounding into the feet. Now focus on taking a couple deep full breaths. No need to force yourself to breathe deep and full. If it's not there today, totally fine.
Awesome, ground deeply into the right foot. Inhale, bend the left knee and lift the left leg out in front of you. Allow the left foot to be flexed. Keep grounding into the right leg. And we're finding our balance in this position. If you feel super wobbly, totally fine. You could use the wall to help with balance, placing your hand on the wall. Couple breaths here. using your right glute to help keep the pelvis in line. Whew. Go with the wobbles if you're feeling wobbly. Bend into the right knee. Exhale, slowly step the left leg all the way back, grounding the left toes onto the mat. Press back through the left heel Bend deeply into the right knee. The feet, look down at the feet. Make sure that they're hip width apart. That will help with balance. Hips are level. You could stay right here with the arms, or if it feels good, you could inhale and take the arms up overhead. If the arms are up overhead, soften the tops of the shoulders, keep space in between the arms and the ears. Looking down at the right knee, allow the right knee to move towards stacking on top of the right ankle. And be mindful that the right knee is not dropping in or going really far out, find a nice neutral position. Take two breaths here. If the arms are up overhead, exhale, release the arms down. Slight bend in the left knee, ground deeply into the feet. Step the left foot forward to meet the right. Coming back into our original standing position. Ground deeply into the left foot. Inhale, bend the right knee, lifting the right leg out in front of you. Finding your balance on this side. Focus on feeling yourself pressing into the left big toe, baby toe, and heel. Focus your gaze on one position or one spot on the wall in front of you. It might help with balance. Place the left hand onto the outside of the left leg and be mindful that the left hip isn't kicking out. Use the left glute to draw the left hip stacking on top of the left knee. Slight bend in the left knee. Exhale, step the right leg all the way back, grounding the right toes onto the mat. Pressing back through the right heel, bend into the left knee. Find your position on this side. You don't have to have a really wide stance here. Finding your position. Maybe the left knee is stacked on top of the left ankle. Arms can stay right here or inhale, take the arms up overhead. Allow the hips to be level and in line with one another. 
Take a couple deep, full breaths. Exhale, release the arms down towards your torso if they're not already there. Slight bend in the right knee. Keep grounding into the feet. Step the right foot forward to meet the left back into our original standing position. Take two breaths here. Good, make a quarter turn towards the left so you're facing the side of your mat and take a nice wide step with the left leg away from the right. Feet are wider than hip width apart. Allow the toes to slightly point inward so that's called a pigeon toe in the feet. Place the hands onto the hips. Now keep grounding into the feet especially the outer edges of the feet. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale with a long spine, hinge from the hips, allow the sit bones to press back. Slowly take the torso and release it all the way down towards the floor. Release the hands onto the mat. If the hands don't make it to the mat, feel free to use a block if you have one or some books or a piece of furniture. Exhale, softening forward. Notice where you're feeling this stretch in your body. If it starts to feel a little intense, breathing deeply or coming out of the posture a little bit. Play with finding a position where you're feeling a stretch, but you're still able to breathe deep and full. And sometimes that means that we have to come out of the posture a little bit because it can get pretty intense. Awesome. Place the hands onto the hips. Ground into the feet with a nice long spine. Inhale and slowly come up into standing. Release the arms. Heel toe the feet back towards one another. Grounding into the right foot. Once again, inhale, lift the left foot off of the mat, bending the left knee out in front of you. This time we'll open up the left knee towards the left. Place the sole of the left foot on the inside of the right calf or the inside of the right thigh, avoiding the knee. But wherever you are, Notice the hips. You want to keep the hips level. So if the left foot is on the inside of the right thigh and your hips are unlevel, come out a little bit. It's not all about finding the fullest expression of a posture, whatever that means. It's the fullest for your body. And feel free to keep the left toes grounded on the mat, left heel on the inside of the right ankle if that feels better. So playing with finding what position feels best for you. You can take the arms and lengthen them down towards your torso, turning the palms to face forward. 
or you can take the arms up overhead, reaching the fingertips up towards the ceiling, or you could even take the palms together in front of the heart. Wherever you are and you've built your foundation, this is our tree pose, take a couple breaths. going with the wobbles. No one is perfectly still in a posture. And it's not supposed to be like that. <laughs> Think of a tree. When is a tree ever fully still? Draw the navel slightly in, activating the core. Take two more breaths. Exhale, release the arms down if they're not already down, and carefully release the left foot onto the mat. Shake it out, shake the left and the right leg out, shake the arms before we go to the opposite side. Grounding into the left foot, inhale, lift the right leg out in front of you, bending the right knee. Finding your balance on this side, open up the right knee towards the right, Find your position for the right foot on this side. Keeping the hips level, navel drawing slightly in. Keep grounding into the left foot. And find your position with the arms on this side. One more breath. If the arms are up overhead, exhale, release the arms down and release the right foot onto the mat. Shaking the arms out, you can shake the legs out once again. Great. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Arms are long. Feet are comfortably hip-width apart, slight or soft bend in the knees. Inhale, reach the arms away from the low back. They may or may not go very far, that's completely fine, so find your range of motion. Keep grounding into the feet. Inhale, take the gaze, look up towards the ceiling. Opening up the chest. Take a couple breaths here. Exhale, bring the gaze back to neutral. Release the fingers. Inhale, carry the arms up overhead. Exhale, hinging from the hips, take the torso, lengthen it forward over the legs. Nice soft forward folds. Maybe the knees are bent or the legs can be straight. Notice and feel what position feels best for you. Take the right hand onto the left elbow, left hand onto the right elbow. Soften everything forward. Sway the hip 
from left to right, nice and slow. Come back to center. Good, exhale, release the fingertips onto the mat. Bend the knees as much as you have to to ground the palms. Step the right foot back, release the right knee onto the mat, release the left knee back to meet the right. Move the legs out of the way so you can sit down onto your glutes. Take the legs out in front of you, slowly come onto your back. Arms lengthen down towards your torso. Turn the palms to face the ceiling. You can allow the knees to be bent, feet grounded on the mat. Option to close the eyes or the gaze to be soft. This is a time at the end of our practice to give ourselves a moment before we transition back into our day or evening. Taking a couple deep full breaths. Nothing to do, nothing to see. Simply allow yourself to rest for a moment. the time feels right for you, you can move on to your day or evening. Thanks for joining me today. I really do appreciate it.